Hi everyone, it's Lynn at Makeup Tonight and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another road test review for a loose powder product and this is from Miniso and it's called the One Plus One Matte Loose Setting Powder. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then just keep watching. So as mentioned, gagawa natin ng review itong matte loose setting powder ni Miniso. I recently went sa Miniso store na malapit dito sa amin. So I forgot how much the price nitong loose powder na to. Pero I will just put it somewhere in the video and also on the description box. But I think it's around 150 pesos. According to the sales lady, isa lang ang shade nito sa store nila. I don't know if may iba pa talaga. But the shade that I got, wait lang, 02 Nude. Ito yung itsura niya ng pinaka-packaging. And the shade is right there. Very slick and straightforward naman tong product na to. Yung kanyang packaging is really, really simple yet elegant para sa akin. And if you open it up, meron siyang maliit na puff. Meron lang tong laman na 8 grams, which is I think okay na rin for um, everyday use. Yung puff niya is also cute and um, handy kasi it's small and fits really well on your fingers, I guess. Tapos may sealed yung pinaka um, loob, just like any regular loose powder. So I'll go ahead and open this up. First time ko tong itatry. So I don't know what to expect. Alam nyo, ang cute nung pinaka-sealed niya kasi, I don't know with you guys, kasi isa sa mga problema ko talaga or dilemma ko sa loose powder is when you open up yung pinaka-sealed niya, it opens up every single hole. Kaya, you end up having a very messy container. But this one, may ano lang siya, may parang hati-hati yung pinaka-plastic niya. Kaya, if you open up one section, yung section lang ngayon ang bukas. Kaya, mas konti yung pinaka-holes na open compared to opening it as a whole thing. So, okay na okay siya para sa akin. Ah, it's really finely milled. And then, it is in the parang whitish na pearly um, yung pinaka-shade. Pero, once you blend it on your skin, it blends really well. And it's very silky, by the way. So, again, I already have my foundation on. Tapos, I did a little bit of concealing under the eyes, which is the normal thing. And what we're gonna do is to use this to set my entire face for today's makeup, if that even makes sense. So, I will be using the puff and apply. Parang matatakot ka sa umpisa kasi sobra, sobra, <laughs> sobrang puti niya. Medyo maputi siya sa umpisa, pero I think this will be fine. You know what? Parang feeling ko medyo patchy yung naging kinalabasan. So, definitely kakailanganin natin ng konting blending skills dito. Kasi if you just simply knock it off like that, hindi, makikita mo yung marka kung saan mo nailagay yung powder. So, konting, konting, konti lang naman. Uh, i-blend mo siya ng maganda para magpantay yung area kung saan mas marami yung powder compared dun sa ibang areas na hindi masyadong nalagyan ng powder. So, I think I'm satisfied now with how this is. So, I'm just gonna go with my day. 10.05 10.05 in the morning. So, I'll check on you guys after a few hours to see how the powder is holding up or 2.33 rather na nang hapon and I think it has been like 4 hours or more since we first applied yung powder kaninang umaga and I just finished lunch and malapit na rin matapos yung work ko kaya I decided to just you know chillax and do the first check in with you guys and this is how my face looks like and to be really honest, I obviously see myself on the mirror, sa camera, na very, very oily na ako. Siguro naman masasabi ninyo from your view, na super na oil up yung face ko today. I don't know why, hindi naman, hindi naman mainit. Actually, maulan pa nga ngayon at hindi 
Basta hindi siya maingit. Yun. Um, and I was surprised to see na ganito ka-severe yung mag-oil up nung aking face. And if I haven't mentioned earlier, uh, ang foundation na ginamit ko today is the one from L'Oreal. Ito yung True Match. Uh, super blendable makeup. I do have a review on this if you haven't watched it. I'll put the link somewhere in the video or down in the description box. So I was surprised to see na ganito kasi severe yung pag oil up niya sa face ko. Kasi yung, yung, yung foundation na to is really good. Although, I have to say na hindi ako nag primer kasi I wanted to see yung foundation or rather yung, yung setting powder on its own. However, it seems like hindi ganun kaganda yung kanyang oil control pagdating sa skin type or at least on my experience. So, but let's see if may maganda bang maidudulot yung pag-remove ng excess oils natin sa aking face. Alright, so there we go. Natanggal ko na yung excess oils na face ko and it looks okay. Um, so far, so good naman siya. However, may transfer pa rin naganap sa aking face so or sa aking tissue rather so that's one thing uh, what I am going to do now is to set my face again using the same loose powder tingnan natin kung may maganda pa bang maidudulot itong powder na ito okay I'll be using the same sponge sensya na umuulan guys I hope you can still hear me loose powder na nire-review natin for today. I don't have my watch as of this timer. It's 4.30. Um, and it is an additional 2 hours since my last check-in with you guys. And as you guys can see, my face is already starting to wait up again. Specifically, yung T-zone area natin. And I think medyo na-highlight na ng kaunti yung areas where I put the concealer. I'm not quite sure if you guys can notice that as well, but majority of the face that starts to oil up is your T-zone area. When it comes to its performance, I think hindi niya gaano nabibigyan ng justice yung pag matify niya. Now, let me share my final thoughts and verdict about this product. So, let's start with the price. Again, it's 150 pesos. Um, it's really affordable with the amount of product that you get from the box or from the container itself. Panalong panalo na to. And I think this is a really nice starting um, kit for those who are just starting with makeup. Uh, however, I think hindi siya nalalayo sa presyo ni Michido. The container itself, again, it's really cute, it's sleek, and I think it's very handy kasi medyo mas maliito compared to sa Michido one. Um, but the, the thing that really caught my attention or the reason why I love the container itself, not because of the packaging and yung, yung theme niya, well, that's a good factor as well, but there's one thing that really caught my attention on this packaging is yung kanyang seal. Yung seal niya on the container itself, it gives you the ability para kontrolin kung ilang holes yung magbubukas para dun sa product. Para mas lesser yung mess or something. So that's a really clever thing for me. Also, the puff is really nice. It has a really nice quality para sa akin. Uh, kasi medyo foamy siya at the same time soft hindi siya yung parang alam mo na parang matigas yung product so or matigas yung pinaka foam niya so airy siya and at the same time it does the job well malapot siya sa skin kaya I love it shade availability hindi ko nga sure kung meron siya ibang shade but I'm assuming meron kasi may zero 2 so of course may zero one 1 diba and I don't know how how many shades are there but so far, dun sa pinagbilan ko na mini iso, <clears throat> mini iso, eto lang yung shades na available. So, unfortunately, hindi siya masyadong match or hindi siya gaano nag-match sa skin tone ko kasi medyo light siya. But after a few hours, when my face started oiling up, dun siya nag 
medyo, alam yun, bumagay na. Pero, um, I think if they have the shades that are somehow close to my skin tone, mas preferred ko yun. But this one is a little off for me. Performance-wise, I would say na yung mattifying ability niya is nasa 1 to 2 hours lang. Depende pa rin yan sa kung gaano kabilis mag-oil up yung skin mo. But for me, it lasted on my skin with a really nice finish within 1 to 2 hours. After that, I have to start blotting kasi makikita at makikita mo na at obvious na obvious na um, nag-oil up na yung face mo. And that's something that hindi maganda sa paningin at sa pakiramdam. So, yeah, having said those things, so I recommend you guys try this product out. I would have to say no. If you have oily skin, I don't think this is a good alternative for you to use on a daily basis though. But if you have normal to somehow dry skin, I think okay na rin to. It's just that you have to find a nice shade that would match your skin tone. So I guess that's it for this review. If you have any questions about the product, let me know in the comment section below and we will try to address them as fast as we can. All the product information that I can gather related to this powder will be listed down in the information box as well. So make sure to check it out. So I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye! Thank you.